right now. Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. We begin at 6 o'clock with Fiesta Week in Santa Barbara. Final preparations are underway for the 98th Old Spanish Days. And News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live. John, we can expect traditional events and some new features this year. Yeah, after two years being on the sidelines because of the pandemic, Old Spanish Days Fiesta 22, 2022 is back. And while some of the events will be traditional, they'll be in the same places, everything will be about the same. There are some changes that the Fiesta Old Spanish Days Board of Directors wants us all to know about. Santa Barbara's biggest event of the year is set and organizers are going all out to make sure every location for Old Spanish Days is up and operating this week. The mercados are opening on time on Wednesday. Uh, Pequeña is happening. The courthouse is happening. The parade is happening. All the last minute preparations are underway for El Desfile Historico, the Fiesta Parade, with its 53 entries, 21 wagons, six floats, and 400 horses. Yeah, it's, it's crunch time now. The floats are still being decorated. Uh, I have horses coming in on Thursday. The parade route on Friday is all along the waterfront on Cabrillo Boulevard from Castillo Street to Calle Puerto Vallarta. The old Spanish Days board says it offers many people some new locations to set up. One of the keys to this year's parade to enjoy it here on Cabrillo Boulevard is to make a plan in advance and possibly pick out your spot and to get down here early. There will also be three free trolleys in service to shuttle people from downtown to a stop by the train station. And the collaboration really is something that's going to benefit the community in so many ways to make it easy to access here the parade route. In the past, the parade has brought out 75 to 100,000 people. And in the downtown corridor, it was crowded and very hot. The new route will have different dynamics. A, a, a nice ocean breeze on a, a sweltering August afternoon. So that'll be one great aspect of it. But it's a wider boulevard, too. The parade Friday starts at noon. The children's parade, starting at Cabrillo Boulevard at Garden Street, takes place Saturday morning at 10. And I've all been already been checking the Mercados downtown and up at McKenzie Park. They've been unpacked, bolted together. They're all set for that. We have a lot of information about old Spanish days, the parade route, and all the information about the trolleys on our website. It also gives you a link to the Fiesta 2022 guide like this. And these brochures are all over town now as well. Good pocket guys with a map and everything you need to know about old Spanish days. Of course, we'll have our link. You have this. You should be all set for Fiesta 2022. Pointing live along the parade route where we're going to be broadcasting live right here in Cabrillo Boulevard at the corner of state on Friday. I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. All right. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you, John. And here's the lineup for Fiesta on News Channel 3. We kick off the festivities with live coverage of La Fiesta Pequena at the old Santa Barbara Mission. The show starts at 8 o'clock Wednesday night. And if you can't make it out there, we will have the full show for you live and then immediately rebroadcasted. So if you miss some of the show, you'll be able to see it again before News Channel 3 at 11. And then on Friday, as John just mentioned, our next live event, El Desfile Historico, the Fiesta Parade. The parade will take a new route this year along Cabrillo. And that starts at noon on News Channel 3. And all of our live coverage will live stream on our mobile app and again on our website. Santa Barbara Mayor Randy Rouse will not attend.